Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Oh Hello Living. Today we are talking about how to get the most out of a de-stash table. First and foremost, if you do not know what a de-stash table is, not to worry. It is a table or a location at a planner meetup or a planner event where people put products or items that they no longer love, but they wanna pass it on to somebody else. Like one man's trash is another man's treasure sort of thing. They are at most planner events. You will hear about it in their Facebook pages or on their event pages where the de-stash table is. And you can find a lot of things there, but it's quite overwhelming when you walk up to this table and it's covered, like things are usually falling onto the floor. There's a few people rifling through and you're just like, I don't know what I want or what I need. Luckily, I'm here to help you get the most out of the de-stash table. So I have a few tips and tricks to make sure that you go home with a lot of really cool items. First and foremost, take your time. When you see that table, you're just like, I don't know what to do, but really spend the time during a break or the lunch portion, depending on how long your workshops are and everything, take the time to go through the table. You never know what you're gonna find. So really like settle in, find your spot. My second tip is to flip the piles. So there's gonna be things getting stacked on it throughout the day and good stuff might be hidden. There might be gems underneath all the scrapbook paper that people leave behind. You want to literally like flip it like a pancake. Just flip over the pile to see what's underneath of it, what you can find under all of the stuff that's been put on top. And my next tip is to definitely come back a few different times throughout the event. People will be leaving stuff all the time. You can never guarantee when all of the stuff will be on the table unless the event somehow organizes it that way. But more often than not, people will be dropping things here and there throughout the entire conference or planner meetup. So go back multiple times throughout the event to check to see if there's anything new, if anything's changed. You never know what you're gonna find. I get a lot of questions about like, what do you do with the stuff you find at a de-stash table? Like sure, if you find some paper clips, it's kind of obvious or an insert here or there or a sticker sheet with icons. But more often than not, people leave leftover sticker kits and you're just kind of rifling through like a sheet of paper with one or two heart checklists and you're just like, I don't know what to do with this. So my advice, and I'm very excited to share this part, pick a color, pick a like theme. If you find a lot of maybe say mermaid stuff, you'll see why I picked that one in a minute. So if you see like a few mermaid die cuts, you're like, okay, cool, mermaid die cuts. And then check through that for colors. So you're like, okay, there's some purples and there's some blues and then pick a color and then start to find stickers that coordinate to that. So what I did was I took a sheet that had very few stickers left on it and I pulled off the like outline. So it was just that sticker paper. And then I went through the stack and pulled any sticker that I found that was that color. So I was looking for purple. So on a sheet of like three or four half boxes, there was one purple. So I would take that sticker off that and put it on my sheet. And I collected a ton of stickers all around the purple. None of them like really matched, but bear with me, keep with me. It's gonna get pretty good. I'm about to show you something pretty cute. And so I just grabbed everything that I thought would work as good together or matched and coordinated. I found some font stickers, I found some deco stickers, but I tried to keep it around this one main theme that I had a decent amount of materials for. So that mermaid beachy theme. So when I got home, I made a spread and of course I'll show you close-ups, but you can take the stickers you find at the de-stash table, those leftover kits that no one really wants and they just throw on that table and they're like, someone will figure it out. Grab the colors, all that coordinate, and you can make full spreads using de-stash stickers. This is a great way to save money. It's a great way to make your sticker collection last longer. Plus it gives those stickers on that de-stash table a second life. And I'm all about that. I'm all about recycling and making sure that things are getting its use and being appreciated. So this probably is made up of 10 to 20 different kits from different shops. These were simply gilded die cuts and there was just a bunch of variety. These two boxes aren't even related to the Simply Gilded. They were just on a sheet, leftover mermaid stickers. And I just think it's so cute and so crafty and make sure that you're getting the most out of the de-stash table. So those are my tips and tricks. Super simple, take your time, flip the piles, come back later, see what's new, and try to pick a color to coordinate. You can do this with the entire rainbow. So you can have a sheet with reds, blues, greens, yellows, and just collect functional stickers and a few decorative stickers, and they can just really help you 
fill out your planner spreads and make the most out of the stickers you do have. So let me know if you have any other tips or tricks on how to make the most out of a D stash table. I would love to hear your thoughts and also what is the best find that you've gotten on a D stash table. There has been some really cool things that have popped up in D stash tables over the years. So let me know if you found any good gems or what kind of stuff you like to leave behind. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.